wow uh, this is all very surreal ice day has arrived finally after two delays because the ice boat was just not freezing uh, so we were trying to do it in slightly better weather about a month ago but uh, it wasn't frozen and then Gem went on holidays I went on holidays I got back yesterday and it's today or never and it's due to rain in about an hour when we get the boat all rigged up and stuff so um, yeah excited a little bit anxious uh, probably the most bonkers thing I've ever done but but super excited yeah I haven't seen the boat yet me neither, I've seen the photo. No, I haven't even seen the photo. Oh, I, you? Nothing. I, I just have not seen what it looks like at all. I tell you what, much as I love it, look yeah. at that, it, it ain't pretty. <laughs> but, I'm uh, sort of stealing myself for this. <laughs> well, this is it. We're yeah. I know, I'm it. really excited because I literally have no idea. But Jim's described it. Right. That's it to me. I, really... It's the colour of palm scum. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm extremely relieved that it's come out in one piece. Um, there was a heart wrenching moment when the forklift was going in, a few cracks of the wood and everything. But I nearly cried when it lifted it up. Um, it's out in one piece. I'm worried because it's melting a lot quicker than I thought it might. The boat's made of about four tons of water and about a ton of grass. And it's, it's hemp grass. And what we did was we made a big mould out of wood, lined it with a big, uh, like a pond liner, uh, and made kind of like negatives to drop into the mould to make compartments in the ship. Then we poured, we, we packed it in with, in the dry grass, poured in the water, rolled it into a freezer at minus 25 for about three weeks. After about two weeks it wasn't frozen, hence three weeks. Um, and then pulled it out, stripped most of the mould away. We're now about to lower it into the water where the boat should bob out of the remainder of the mould, the mould can then go and the uh, the boat can head towards the Isle of Wight. It's cool, it's um, it's, it's both bigger and smaller than I expected, it's not as uh, long but it's much deeper, it looks, it does look really the part actually. Um, we thought originally uh, like a woolly sheep but I reckon a highland cow, we should have put horns on the front or something, but no I think it's dripping. But I think most of it, most of the drips actually are just like the outside ice melting. And I'm quite confident Jim's got his calculations right. I think I should wear welly. <laughs> <laughs> and you look so serious. What? This is the look. This is the look that says I'm in charge of a boat made of ice. Back in the day, in the Second World War, the, the country was running out of steel. And this guy had this like outlandish plan of building aircraft carriers out of modified ice. Now, ice is a bit too brittle to build an aircraft carrier or any kind of proper structure out of. But if you mix it with stuff, like mixing concrete, you do effectively get the ice equivalent of concrete. So all that grass in there provides like extra strength and stops cracks propagating through the ice. Uh, they never did it in the war. The, the, the war moved on. But I feel as though it's an idea that uh, everyone's been curious about for a long, long time. And so it's it's a demonstration of composite materials where you get like some rubbish old dry grass and some fairly brittle ice, but you, we mix them together and you get a rock solid material. And that boat is absolutely rock solid. I've got a wetsuit on, I've got booties, I've got size 10 wellies over the booties. I'm very warm at the moment. The great thing about um, this experience for me though is that I did a habituation experiment that goes in this in this um, episode as well where they basically dunked me repeatedly in cold water and your cold shock response gets better and better like your heart rate lowers and your breathing gets better so I'm apparently uh, habituated for about a year which means I shouldn't feel the cold um, that much if we do go in and we are going in there's no question of that. Nobody's ever done this on this scale so as far as what's going to happen, I couldn't be more intrigued. It's, uh, it will melt at some point. My guess, and it is a guess like that, is about an hour before we might start falling through the floor. Um, but we don't know. If it rains, it's going to be worse. I think it may handle like a wet log. <laughs> Cab 
cava, everyone. Don't panic. This is about as cheap as it gets. Still tastes good though. Other cavas are available. <laughs> but not at this price.